Hey guys, thanks for stopping on. And if you're interested in getting more political forecasting analysis and commentary, you can click that subscribe button. Heading into this one, going to be doing a rematch here if the election were to happen today between Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump and how I see the electoral college map playing itself out. Now, when I was thinking about this hypothetical rematch, I was trying to think, has Donald Trump done more damage during his time as presidency to lose votes or has Hillary Clinton done more damage post losing to Donald Trump in that 2016 surprise election to hurt her chances of winning. And what I came down to is, yes, Donald Trump probably has lost some of his support overall, but Hillary Clinton as well, after she went on to lose the 2016 general election, she came out with that book where she blamed pretty much everyone but herself for all the reasons of why she lost to Donald Trump. And I think that rubbed a lot of people the wrong way, especially the overwhelming amount of Bernie Sanders supporters that ended up voting for her in the general election. We've seen polls that showed about 90 percent of Bernie Sanders voters that voted for him in the primary ended up casting a vote for Hillary Clinton. And the Clinton supporters always say, oh, it's Bernie Sanders supporters fault that we didn't end up beating Donald Trump. But you look back at 2008 and Hillary Clinton primary voters actually voted for Obama at a lower percentage rate than Sanders voters went for Hillary Clinton. So take that for what it is. I don't think it was Sanders supporters faults at all. I think it was just a flawed candidate who had a tough time really igniting a lot of support behind her, especially in a lot of these key states throughout the Midwest that Donald Trump was able to flip over from what Obama was able to win in 2012 to himself over in 2016. So with going through this map, first we're going to be doling out the states on ones that we feel like are pretty safe to either Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump. So first, we're going to start off with the safe states that Hillary Clinton should be able to win in a hypothetical rematch, starting with Hawaii, California, Oregon, and Washington. Nevada was a really close state. She'd probably still win New Mexico. Colorado was pretty competitive, about a five percentage point difference, so we'll leave that up for now. Minnesota as well, pretty competitive, about one and a half, two percent, right about in that range. But Illinois was a convincing win for Clinton. And then moving on to Virginia, I feel like she would probably win Virginia again, especially with Tim Kaine by her side. So that's probably a state that they get, including the District of Columbia, Maryland, Delaware, New Jersey, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, New York, and Vermont. And then we look up at New Hampshire. That was only 0.3 percentage points, and Maine was at about 3 percentage points. So we'll leave those up for grabs as well. So that gets Hillary Clinton up to 200 electoral college votes. Now we're going to move on to the safe states that we think Donald Trump would be able to grab again here, and that would be Alaska, Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, Utah, North Dakota, South Dakota, Nebraska, Kansas, Oklahoma. Missouri was an absolute blowout. And what's a state that can be competitive from time to time between uh, a Democrat and Republican, depending on the candidates, but definitely a state that Trump was able to convincingly beat Clinton in. Moving on to Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia was close. Florida was close, Texas was close, Arizona was close, but we'd also give Trump South Carolina, then North Carolina was competitive, and then also giving Trump Tennessee, he won in a blowout in Kentucky, Indiana, West Virginia, Ohio was somewhat competitive, we'll leave it up for now, uh, Pennsylvania, like I said, also one that was very competitive, one that Trump was able to flip in 2016. So this is the map that we have on safe states on both sides. Clinton getting 200 at this point, Trump getting 126. Now, like I said, I feel like both of these candidates have hurt their chances since the 2016 result, probably getting a little bit more negative sentiment on both sides of things. We look at their favorable, unfavorable numbers, still both very negative. You have Clinton at negative about 12 and a half to 13 or so, and Trump right about in that similar type of ballpark, about negative 14 to 15 in terms of his favorable, unfavorables. But one thing is, I think Clinton is going to have a tougher time getting Bernie Sanders voters in a hypothetical rematch because they're very disenfranchised. They feel like the political process was rigged against them, and that sentiment is hammered home even more at this point in time than probably what it was back before the 2016 general election. So in terms of those voters, either they don't show up at all, or they're probably even more so going to be casting their vote over to Donald Trump after overwhelmingly casting their vote by and large 
for Hillary Clinton. So this is definitely going to hurt Clinton throughout the Midwest primarily. So going through those states, if that's going to be the case and kind of the thesis that we're building in this rematch scenario, uh, that means we're still going to give Trump states like Pennsylvania, Ohio, Iowa, and then uh, Wisconsin, Michigan. And we're going to leave Minnesota again for now. That was a really close one. Um, and then also, of course, states like Texas. And I'm trying to see if there was other states here. That was pretty much the ones where Trump was able to win a number of those states by about 5 to 10 percentage points. Of course, Michigan was a lot closer than that. But again, a big Sanders contingent there that I don't see necessarily turning out and showing up at the voting gate for Clinton again this time around. Now, moving out to Nevada, again, a very close state. We look here. Hillary Clinton was able to win it by about two and a half percentage points. But in a rematch scenario at this point in time, we're seeing those demographics out in Nevada shift even more so to help the Democrats out. That's probably just enough to continue to have Nevada be in Clinton's camp. Colorado, another state that's kind of shifting more and becoming a bit more Democrat. Clinton was able to win the state by five percentage points. We feel like she probably has enough support again out there to win a state like Colorado, but probably even closer than the first go around. Arizona, we're still going to give this one over to Donald Trump in a rematch. He ended up winning it by about three and a half percentage points. But again, we feel like he has just enough of a gap here. And Hillary Clinton continues to be very unpopular. So probably ending up winning a state like Arizona. Moving on up to Minnesota. Hillary Clinton able to win this one by about one and a half percentage points. She's not all that popular in this state. And with Wisconsin flipping, Michigan flipping, Pennsylvania and Ohio flipping, we feel like in a rematch scenario, we wouldn't even be surprised to see Minnesota also flip and go to Donald Trump's side. Now, moving up to the Northeast, up in Maine, Clinton was able to win the state by about three to four percentage points, right about in that range. Maybe Trump's able to grab one of these congressional districts in Maine, but still nonetheless, we feel like Clinton has maybe just enough of a lead to hold on and win this state, although wouldn't be surprised to see Trump flip it or win one of those congressional votes. And then New Hampshire, extremely close. Clinton only winning it by 0.3 percentage points. A lot of that Bernie Sanders support in this part of the country bordering state with Vermont, probably not showing up quite as much to support Clinton this go around. So with that being the case, we're going to give New Hampshire over to Donald Trump. Moving down to the southwest here, just a few more states to go through. Georgia, we look back at 2016, Trump was able to win it by five percentage points, probably a similar result this go around. So that's going to put Trump over the top, getting him to 275. And now we just have North Carolina and Florida left. Florida, another one of those really close results. It's always close. It seems every election, Obama was able to pick up Florida twice, Trump being able to flip it over and win it this time. And we see a similar probably type of result here. But at the end of the day, still Probably Donald Trump able to grab this state as well. And then North Dakota, or excuse me, North Carolina, Trump able to win that one by about three and a half percentage points. That's probably a big enough of a margin here where he holds on and takes North Carolina as well. So you can see that this is my hypothetical rematch here between Clinton and Trump. And my thesis built around on this assumption is that Bernie Sanders voters that overwhelmingly came out and supported Clinton in the 2016 general election by about a 90% clip either doesn't show up this time around or maybe even flips over to Donald Trump just because of that tour that Clinton went on after she lost the 2016 election, selling her book and basically blaming everyone but herself. She blamed, of course, the Russian situation. She blamed Comey. She blamed the fact that uh, men in general maybe were a little bit sexist and not casting votes for her, that she didn't get a lot of support potentially from the Bernie Sanders supporters, which wasn't actually true when you look at the numbers. So I feel like that leaves a lot of bad taste in people's mouths who weren't even necessarily all that thrilled about voting for Clinton the first time around. So she probably does even worse in a potential rematch with Donald Trump, even with Donald Trump's numbers continuing to not be all that great in terms of his favorable unfavorables, but they're really not all that different from what they were back going into the 2016 general election. So again, guys, this is how I have the map playing out if Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton had a rematch against each other in the electoral map, Trump getting 319 
of that Electoral College result and Clinton getting 219. So that's going to wrap up this one. If you're interested in getting more political forecasting analysis and commentary, you can click that subscribe button. Check out our other potential hypothetical matchup videos on our YouTube channel, and we hope to see you guys in future videos. Bye.